this. It's 4.30 in the morning. Uh, I need to get ready. I have like 20 minutes to get ready. And um, they're coming to pick me. Um, if you know, based on today's, the title of this video, I have my first swimming lessons today. And I just thought, why not take you guys along? So let's just see for how long I'm able to live this lifestyle because man waking up early is not for me if you know me you know i'm not a i am not a morning person i can be up like the whole night but in the morning no so yeah i just want to get ready because they'll be coming to pick me soon so i will catch up with you guys later step one wake up early gonna rise with the sun step two get some good some food in you step three Grow hard about what you wanna be. Step four. Everybody just do your thing. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. 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 Set your affirmations, aspirations I got shit to do, the aftermath of preparation Good food, good mood, blood in circulation One step at a time, yeah, that's how you make it Set a goal you control and the steps you take them I try to... So guys, this was immediately after the swimming lessons. Just now I was shivering. I was only able to spend like an hour in the pool. And I was out. I After which I went and had my bath. You guys, there's just something very addictive about having your bath. Yeah, like the water is so hot. Like I was literally there for like 30 minutes. I didn't want to leave. Uh, at this point, I was feeling myself thighs to the gut. <laughs> and then um, this is actually the next day. I slept like a dead body the, uh, Like after I came back in the first day. In this place, you can see I'm literally like asking myself, do you really want to do this? But the first day was really exciting. So I decided, we decided to try it. And fun facts, we are, all, are always here by like before 6 a.m. So this is literally like about uh, 5.50 on the second day. We actually come sometimes even before the coach and like we just wait for him. And um, I wasn't able to record in the first day because like I said, I was trying to concentrate on like just learning. But then I had someone help me record the second day just to show you guys how far I've gone, which I think I am proud of myself because this is my second day. You guys, I literally didn't even know how to float before this. Like I was like, like if you put me in any water, body water, I'm going to just drown. But the fact that I was able to do this in the second day, I, I don't know. I feel like I'm so happy. I'm so proud of myself. This is another one. Something that I have noticed, like everyone has noticed, actually, is that I don't know how to use my legs while swimming. Like I struggle with it. That is what happens when you've never exercised before and you are just lazy in life. So, like I was really struggling. So this is something that like has been stressing me even like after I'm done with the first week because I do go like three times a week, and this is literally like the second day of the first week that i started uh, i just finished i was able to spend like about two an hour and 30 minutes in this the second day so which i was like 30 minutes um i'd spend 30 extra minutes more than the usual you guys the cold just know i, I sh i'm just shivering like when you are inside the pool you don't really you don't really feel cold until you go out you get outside then the air is like it's as if the air is just waiting for you like it's like yes and this is like usually this is like around eight no this is like around seven something a.m um after which i went in and i had my bath it was like really really lovely like i said like i usually don't want to leave there and because i don't put a cape um swimming cape i don't have a swimming cape yet um i usually just use my hair so what I do because like I don't really want the chlorine stain on my hair. I usually I go with my shampoo and I just like rinse my hair when I'm having uh, when I'm showering, just so that I get all that out. 
so they also have a gym guys like just know but i was like uh uh-uh like one step at a time this cannot be my lifestyle like i don't even see myself being here at any moment (laughs) but yeah so they have a gym so this was like the second day which was like pretty awesome because i felt like i had actually progressed a lot um after which i ended up going home and one thing i discovered is that while you were in the pool like trying to swim and all that you don't really feel how exhausting it is until you are out like literally when i'm on my way i'm like almost dozing off i'm like dozing off and sleeping um so guys guess who has a full brain and decided not to sleep the whole night this was the third day the last day of the week for my of that week um for swimming because like i said i only go three times a week you guys i didn't sleep at all like i was awake the whole night and then i went there like you can you can see me feeling myself because i was like i i i can do this like yeah like i was just literally surviving off of adrenaline so in my head like it was deceiving me like you still have like energy we actually went a bit earlier than usual we're here like at maybe five minutes earlier than usual not really so early like around 5 45 and you guys i was able to actually this is me like the little one there the the arrow pointing i was able to actually cross the pool in my third day still struggling with the legs i don't know i was actually giving like a tax to squat like 20 times a day which i've been doing i am literally just lying down in bed as i'm recording this so you just have to you just you have no idea how how painful my muscles are at this moment but like i struggle with that a lot um but i was actually able to do it in my third day to cross the whole pool while kind of submerged in water so that was actually very very awesome um (laughs) after which you guys this um after which i finally went to um have my bath uh i had my bath first after having my bath and then i went to the sauna i wanted to try it first and i asked the lady that was in attend that was attending like the, that was uh, staying next to the sauna and i was asking her like which would be pa- best should i go into the sauna first and have my bath later or do this and she she recommended having my bath first and then going to the sauna so which is what i did you guys this is the most presentable i have ever been after like swimming because usually i just go home and i sleep so i don't see the need to look any present but i was going to my friend's place from here so i was like let me just look like a human being and the scarf is because of my hair like i don't have any any excuses um my papa also um, brought zobo for me i was like really really happy about it he's the one that actually comes and picks me early in the morning so if in case you are wondering like uh, he's my lifesaver because I can't be living there and going to Kampala like every day that early. So um, at this point, after I had my, I actually got into the sauna. I just felt so relaxed. So after this, I went to my friend's place. I've not seen her. I really missed her, and she made breakfast for me. If you think you guys are at only two slices, you are wrong. I ate more than that, and that is all for this video, guys. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you in the next one.